Hi, my name is Saab Johal and welcome to something of an experimental video for me. Now normally I use a mobile workflow when editing my videos, especially for my Insta360 ONE X shots. Using my iPhone or my iPad, the Insta360 software and a great app called LumaFusion to pull it all together, I can get a video edited and post-processed in very little time and I could do it on the move. What I sacrifice for this saving in time, however, is some resolution because the mobile workflow can't handle the 5.7K footage from the One X and can only process 4K instead. So I thought I would process a 360 video in Adobe Premiere Pro 2019 instead. I have access to this at the moment, but it gets removed at the end of the month, July 2019, so I wanted to see if it was worth paying for it. Now, although the resolution is better because I'm able to use the full 5.7K captured by the One X, the time taken for the post-processing is so much longer. Just to render a three minute video took my Mac one hour and 29 minutes to render. Now this is a 2015 27 inch iMac with 32 gigs of RAM and a four gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. It's not slow. Now compare that to the three to four minutes that LumaFusion takes to render a 360 video on my 2018 11 inch iPad. And I don't think I'll be abandoning my mobile workflow anytime soon. Still, it was an interesting little experiment. Drop me a note in the comments to let me know how you edit your 360 video. Do you have a mobile workflow or do you use a laptop or desktop instead? And what software do you use? And how long is your render time? So cheers. Oh, and consider subscribing too to make sure you don't miss out on any of my videos if you've enjoyed this video. Now, don't forget to have a scroll around this video too and maybe play it back so you don't miss out on any different views other than the one that you're looking at right now. Hey, thanks for watching and go well.